October 10th, 6.30 p.m. The experiment is out of control. The transformations have started to recur their own accord. I have radically altered the balance of the formula to try to contain and overcome the powerful and dark forces at work inside me. I know well that I risk death. Henry, what is the meaning of this letter? Who is Edward Hyde and why God's name would you leave everything you possess to some man I've never even heard of? He stabbed full control of all of my assets immediately upon my death. Or indeed Hyde my is a colleague, closely involved in my research. If anything happens to me, he must have the wherewithal to carry on my work. You have to trust me, John. I do trust you with my life. Then you'll do as I ask. Does this man Hyde have, have some kind of hold on you? Tell me and we'll work it out together like we've always done. Not this time, John. In the name of friendship, I beg you to do as I ask and do not question anything. I don't like it, but if it's your wish, I'll write up the revised will. John, the apothecary, is preparing some vital chemicals for me. I need you to collect them and bring them here. I cannot leave this place. All right, I'll, I'll do it. I am aware of my peril and the need to control Hyde's evil influence, which disappears within me like a stain of breath upon a mirror. He has found the perfect hiding place. What streak of madness lies inside of me? What is the truth my fears conceal? What evil force makes Edward hide of me? What darker side of me does this reveal? What is the strange obsession? That's tearing me apart Some strange deranged expression Of what's in my heart Am I the man that I appear to be? Or am I someone I don't know? Is there some monster drawing near to me? Becoming clear to see Will what I fear to be be so? <laughs>